welcome back to a new day here at the Honda Trek Days. We have a lot of bikes to be tested. I'm looking forward to it. So let's start. the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always get it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at the This Transalp uh, seems to be naked without the quick shifter. I was hoping to test also the quick shifter uh, on this uh, track. So this is uh, one of the nicest events made by Honda, the Honda Trek Days 2023. It's the third year when I'm participating uh, to this event. We have few motorcycles to test among uh, the one, the classic ones, the Honda Africa Twin, Honda Hornet, the new Hornet we have it, also the Honda NC 750X, well known, XADV, ADV 750, NT 1100, the new CL uh, 500, CBR Fireblade, CBR 650R. Our focus today will be to test the Transalp uh, because my Transalp is in a break-in period and I cannot uh, pass uh, over 5000, 6000 RPM so I, I'm really uh, interested to really <laughs> exploit somehow this bike uh, to its uh, potential at least here on the racetrack then comes the Hornet, the same engine as the Transalp with SC Project exhaust I'm uh, also interested to find out and uh, make a comparison between the two engines actually the same engines with different uh, gear shifting ratios I'm really interesting to test it and also the new CL500 which looks uh, quite nice this uh, scramble type uh, looking uh, bike from uh, Honda yeah I have the chance to test uh, my bike on the racetrack which is a great option for me I can actually feel more the bike at the uh, high revs I can really push it a little bit uh, on the racetrack where there is no traffic and uh, under control environment I will try to check out its handling of course there are some rules we have to respect some uh, road condition rules we have to follow some regulations of course uh, now it's time to go uh, on the racetrack with my bike let's try the sport mode yeah nice this bike uh, has almost 1000 kilometers 800, 660, 866 uh, kilometers done so far with this bike. Whoo! Yeah, plenty of power, plenty of power, especially after 4000, 4000 RPMs, 4500. And also power on a low revs, for example here we have barely 2000 And uh, actually I'm able to go uh, even in the fourth gear here on these turns Alright, uh, I think uh, third gear is more than enough Yeah, it's it's really refreshing uh, when you accelerate. It's really refreshing. On my back, uh, also another Transalp. Yeah, and the bike uh, bike's maneuverability on this turn it's quite impressive. I'm in a third gear for some turns. Actually, it's. Uh, I don't feel the need quite uh, quite so much to change the gear to downshift. 
here is the uh, the transalp I'm trying to accommodate with the bike and uh, feel feel it just uh, to mention that this is not a racetrack this is a test day everything here has to be uh, the number one priority it's safety so no one wants uh, something bad to happen so it's better to prevent than to try to try to come up in front somehow in some matter I can really count on this bike uh, on the turns let's check it out here on the straight line I see plenty of power uh, when you accelerate from uh, let's say 140 150 even there is room for uh, for acceleration even you can try to accelerate uh, even after this so this comes uh, this translates into 92 horsepower at uh, 6000 over 6000 rpms i can feel some small vibrations in the foot pegs not much the vibrations are somehow uh, smooth but they are you can feel them in the in the foot pegs after 6000 below this uh, rpm there is actually no no other vibration which i can feel But the bike gets so easily to high speeds 100 120 kilometers per hour with no problem i feel uh, comfortable taking the turns with the third gear at my actual riding uh, skills so i don't want to push it too much i don't want to impress anyone i just want to feel the bike and offer you some proper feedback uh, I don't feel this suspension uh, too soft over here perhaps uh, some preload adjustment uh, had be has been done to this bike I don't feel it too soft this is the sport mode where we have the maximum uh, bike power engine brake it's at two out of uh, four and traction control it's actually one out of four that's why uh, when you accelerate on the on the twisties you have to really uh, take care because the uh, the wheel can easily spin if you twist too much the throttle okay 170 you saw how easily we have reached 170 kilometers per hour and uh, i'm not uh, actually the best around here when it comes to this uh, racing on the track what i can say now we are in the fourth gear and uh, a little bit uh, about 4000 rpms and the acceleration man it's quite quite nice it has plenty of power starting directly from 4000 rpms and uh, you can feel the bike you can feel the acceleration every millimeters Woo, yeah you can have some fun with this bike definitely definitely uh, especially if you have some riding skills proper riding skills not like me this bike uh, could be considered like uh, let's say 70 30 some say 90 10 some uh, want uh, to be 50 50 you know 50 off road 50 on road but this bike it's so good at least on road i have to say that the engine brake uh, it's quite quite strong even at this two out of four I can imagine uh, that is even better at uh, 4 out of 4 
have some really really positive feedback regarding the windscreen protection wow man for this for this uh, small windscreen i have to say man that at 160 kilometers per hour the wind protection is just just perfect just perfect now i'm really convinced uh, not to buy uh, until now i'm not convinced to buy the another touring windscreen or something i think this one it's really enough more than enough think about uh, how often do you ride this bike at 166 170 kilometers per hour uh, on a highway so this wind protection uh, it's quite good could be that uh, because the bike is very slim quite narrow and uh, it takes up the the strong wind perfectly Ooh, yeah man yeah i love it i love it i love it on the street eh? i really love it i'm coming up after seven months of uh, not riding the motorcycle so i'm quite happy just to enjoy the ride just to enjoy the ride and uh, somehow test the bike uh, for its purpose but man in a second gear in a second gear after 5000 6000 rpm this bike it's actually uh, like a beast like to mention something about the gear shifting uh, maybe I'm not uh, so good shifting the gears properly but uh, you have this uh, this feeling that a little bit uh, the the gears are catching on the way of the change uh, when you change it uh, especially when you change it quite fast so uh, some uh, some force need to be applied I will compare it also I will give you my feedback because I'm gonna install also the quick shifter uh, starting from next week and uh, I'm able now to compare uh, both so I think we, the quick shifter will really improve uh, the experience of the gear shifting I'm not saying that uh, it's poor but you see the traction control it's as much as you twist it uh, you have the traction control which comes out uh, intervenes uh, because this is actually one out of four and the bike uh, you know uh, reacts quite fast to this uh, throttle twisting in front we have the uh, honda hornet with the same engine uh, i'm really curious to test it so as i mentioned about the gear shifting uh, how the gears are shifted it's quite precise but in the same time uh, maybe i'm expecting too much uh, out of this gear shifting okay now so you need uh, to find the the perfect spot for the gear shifting and the perfect combination between uh, letting the throttle loose and uh, Letting the throttle loose and also gear shifting, you know. It's quite, quite... Uh, you accelerate this bike at your own risk and at your own uh, riding abilities on these tight turns. Woo. But man, the throttle, it's so precise, so precise. Yeah, it's... it's uh, I would say it's perfect the throttle response is just perfect especially on this sport mode it's so perfect man now we will make a left whoo quite a ride huh
Yeah, what can I say? Another another perfect riding day on the uh, Honda Trek Days 2023. Yeah, my feedback uh, after today. So I was riding the Honda Transalp. Uh, I was able to test its potential on a racetrack. Also, I ride the new Honda CL500 and also the Hornet 750 uh, as a comparison with the Honda Transalp. What I could say about uh, my Transalp uh, is that the bike really exceeds uh, expectations uh, on the racetrack and on the tarmac. It has a lot of power. It's handling it's quite good considering the 21 inch wheel. The brakes very good. Uh, also the way the acceleration and the throttle response is man it's, uh, it's just perfect you can control the bike uh, very easy on the turns as much as you twist it this is it no surprises uh, this is very useful when you want to control the bike uh, at some speeds uh, you have this confidence that uh, uh, the bike doesn't surprise you, you know, doesn't surprise you and gives you confidence Especially on the turns when you twist the throttle, you know This uh, throttle by wire very useful Also, I was able to check the quick shifter on the Hornet 750 I look forward to test it uh, and to make the quick shifter uh, to, to mount it on my bike to, on the Honda Transalp. I was very very happy with the quick shifter. I have to say, down shifting, up shifting. Uh, down shifting, up shifting. Uh, pff, really really perfect. Almost. You need to also find that sweet spot to change uh, with a quick shifter uh, the gears maybe uh, to find that sweet spot uh, with the revs this will be a process uh, where you can learn it what we have here it's uh, Johnny's uh, drone hopefully he will follow us uh, with the Transalp and with the uh, CL500 yeah it was uh, what can I say it was a nice experience Please, please make sure you're watching uh, this, these tracks, you're watching these uh, videos. Also, uh, there will be a separate video with the sound of the bike. Then uh, you will be able to hear. I recorded also the sound. I really appreciate that you're watching my videos. If you like it, if you don't like it, please like it or don't like it. Uh, subscribe if you like it. Unsubscribe if you don't like it. So. Please uh, make sure you, you comment also. Until next time, bye bye.